me Elizabeth Lauren and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a July favorites video. I haven't done a monthly favorites in a while so I'm really excited to show y'all what I've been loving this summer. Okay so normally I do a skincare product first but I've pretty much been using the same products in my last favorites videos so if you would like to see what I've been using on my skin check it out. Um, I know I don't have the best skin, but I'm really, really trying. Been drinking way more water this summer. And yeah, so let's get into beauty because that's what I'm most excited about. The first product I've been loving is for those no makeup makeup days. And it's the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin in 530 Light to Medium. Um, it's a little bit dark for me like a little bit darker so I have to wear some concealer under my eyes and like on my chin and my nose just to kind of brighten it up a bit but other than that it's a really cool product honestly I've never tried BB creams before and like I was really really excited because I want to let my skin breathe some days so I like to not wear makeup during the summer but I also want like a light, light, light coverage if I'm just going to the store or something like that. So I like this product. I don't use a beauty blender for it because it really doesn't work. It just soaks up the product. So I've been using a foundation brush or a stippling brush and it's been helping a lot. But yeah, this is a really good product for someone who loves... Um, that no makeup makeup look and also one more thing is it is a matte coverage foundation but I do go over it a tiny bit with a little bit of powder okay so the palette I have been loving like obsessed with this summer is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette sorry if my camera gets dark but oh my gosh this is such a amazing palette I'm literally wearing it on my eyes today and I've showed y'all in a previous video, but just look at these shades. They're so, so pretty. And they're so pigmented. They're smooth. I love the shimmery, glittery, metallic shades. I just, I love this palette. I just love that you can do so many looks with it. And I recommend anyone try it. Like, it's really, really good for people who like everyday makeup. You can use any of these shades. People who like a pop of color, people who love warm tones, cool tones, dramatic makeup, everyday makeup, you can do it all with this palette. So, yeah. Okay, so the highlight I have been obsessed with is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in 100 Molten Gold. Oh my gosh, this is a game changer. Like, I'm wearing it on my face right now. It is so stunning. I absolutely love it. It is a kind of... It's a gold, but it's a lighter shade of gold, and it looks so, so pretty on the skin. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, I've tried a lot of, you know, drugstore highlights, and honestly, this is just so freaking pretty. Like, I wear it every day now. So, yeah, this is my favorite highlight of the month. So, the bronzer I have been obsessed with this summer is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster in Light to Medium. This is amazing. It's a drugstore contour. It's freaking amazing. So first of all, it comes with a mirror, which I think is so cute. And if you flip it up, which it's kind of hard to do, but once you flip it up, there is a little brush. Really, really cool that they added that. And I love the packaging. I think it's super cute. Like the little sun on there. I think it's adorable. But this is a really good bronzer if you want that orangey kind of contour. Um, I know a lot of people love the gray toned or cool toned contours, but this is a really good bronzer if you want to warm up your skin for the summer and look more tan. So I really like it. It's really, really pretty. And I just love the way it looks on my skin. I'm actually wearing it right now. Probably can't tell. Because I go super light with the contour. I don't want to go too crazy. But I really love it. It's really pretty. So my two favorite lip products of the summer would be this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Which is so 
freaking cool. First of all, it is a lip plumper and it makes your lips bigger. I wanted to try it honestly because I didn't believe the hype. I was like, really? Like, it'll plump your lips a little bit, but like, really? But then I tried it and it burns. I'm going to just tell you all that now. For me, it burns. It's a burn that I can handle. It's not like crazy intense, but it does burn. So just be aware about that if you're like sensitive and stuff. So yeah, this doesn't really do much for my um, upper lip because it's kind of big anyway. But it really does plump out my bottom lip and you can see it when it works. Like, I don't know. I really like it. Um, one thing I have noticed though is if you use it multiple times in a row, it kind of stops working. So I would use this like every other day or like two times a week because I use it to moisturize my lips as well as to um, plump them. So I wouldn't use it every day. I know it says on the directions to use it for like a month or something like that and you're supposed to see a gradual effect like your lips are supposed to look bigger. But the tingling just doesn't tingle if you use it multiple days in a row. So just keep that in mind when buying this product. And my go-to lip shade of this month is the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Ophelia. First of all, one of my favorite songs is named Ophelia, so I think that's so cute, honestly. And I just love this shade. It's like a nude pink shade. And it just looks really pretty if I have a dramatic eye like I'm doing today. If I were to wear this with it, it would automatically look super cute. But it's also just a really light, fun, flirty shade to wear during the summer. And yeah, I really like it. Okay, so I know y'all always see me use the Morphe brushes in almost every video I've ever done on YouTube. But I recently got these Wet n Wild brushes, which I will stand up to show you. They're a little stained because and wet because I just washed them, but they are so freaking cute, first of all. I love the pink and white. I think it's super cute. It has like a little indention. It has a little indention. I don't know if you can see that. Hmm. I don't really know if you can see, but it has a little indention right here for um, you to like hold it. And I think that's really cool. And what I love about these brushes is the fact that they were literally a dollar. Like, I bought this at the dollar store. All of these were a dollar. I was like, girl, that is a steal. Like, seriously. And I love these because they're really good at blending. Like, this brush right here, I've been using it, and I literally used it today. And I love this for blending. It's such a nice quality brush for the price. Like seriously, it's really good. Um, is it as good as Morphe brushes? I'm going to say no, just because I, I feel like the Morphe brushes are more softer and these are more of a synthetic feel, but these are very good quality for the price and I really like them. So if you're looking for, you know, beginner brushes, like if you're new to makeup and everything, go to the dollar store or any drugstore and get you some wet and wild brushes because they will literally change your life. Another product I have been loving this summer is this really cute makeup bag that says hot mess on it. Um, you can't really tell on the camera but it's like a pink, like a light pink. I don't know, I don't know why but it doesn't look pink on camera but I'm telling you this is such a cute light pink bag. First of all it's huge. Um, my mom actually got one of these that says resting beach face in her um, FabFitFun box and she wanted to send or she wanted to buy one of these from the actual person and they were sold out so she went on eBay and bought them and they're so cute. I love this so much. Like it's such an adorable makeup bag. It's huge and like I can literally throw this in my purse or carry it on the go because it has a little strap. And yeah, I just think it's really cute. Okay, so now I want to talk about house decor slash items. And um, the first item I am going to talk about, I don't actually have with me. It's in my um, kitchen. 
but I will put a video somewhere on the screen of me using it and it is my Keurig okay if y'all watch me on snapchat y'all know I live on coffee like every morning I have got to have a cup of coffee to start my day like I just have to otherwise I'm super tired so I've been loving my Keurig my mom and dad bought it for me and Jeffrey when we first moved in and it is a lifesaver it's so easy to use and my favorite um, coffee pods which is what they're called if you get a Keurig are the Kahlua and the Mudslide coffee they are amazing or the Gloria Jean Mudslide coffee by the way but the Kahlua coffee is what I've been drinking lately because sadly they are out of the Mudslide coffee which is my fave and yeah I just really love the Keurig and it's really easy to use you can make hot cocoa tea coffee and yeah so that's my first item that I've been loving my second house item that I've been obsessed with is the Bath and Body Works candle in pineapple mango oh my god when you light this in your house I promise you your house is going to literally smell amazing it's so freaking good it literally smells like you're walking through a smoothie or like I don't even know how to explain it but it's a pineapple mango scent like literally the name says it all and it smells so good like so so good I've been putting this in the kitchen or in the bedroom I'll light it and just let it you know do its thing and I'll go into my room again and it just smells amazing. So yeah, if you're looking for a really yummy smelling candle, I would get the pineapple mango one. The last house decor item I will be talking about is the cutest little lamp in the whole entire world. It's a cactus lamp that I got at Target. Actually, Jeffrey bought this for me at Target. It is so freaking cute. And when I get my beauty room set up, I am literally going to put this in here. Like, it's so freaking cute it's so cute oh my gosh I'm in love like I have a let me set this down I have an obsession with cactus like I don't know what the deal is I'm literally getting cute little teacups to put cactus or succulent plants in because I don't know like I love I love them I love them as wallpapers I think they're cute little plants and I have been obsessed so when I saw this at Target I automatically was like Jeffrey can I have it? Like, please? Like, it's so freaking cute. Like, give me, like, I need. And he was like, what are you going to do with that? Like, you're not even going to put that in a room. Like, what are you going to do? And I'm like, my beauty room. Hello. And so he let me get it. So I love it. I love it. I love it. It is so freaking cute. And yeah, I got it at Target. Okay, so the next item I actually got at Target as well. And it is these cute little pins. I'll get up closer for you. Um, it's a little lip. It's a lipstick shaped like a heart and has glitter. And then it says work, work, work. I think this is super cute. I have a jean jacket I also got from Target that was in a previous monthly faves and a um, try on haul video. And I think I'm going to put this on them or I might put these on a purse. I don't know. I just think they're so cute. They're freaking adorable and they were literally seven dollars so I think they're really cute and the last item I'm actually wearing right now is this really cute orange crop top that I got from JC Penney's I will show you it is so freaking cute it has fringe on it and I don't know what this little there we go I don't know what that was doing but it has fringe and ruffles and it's just super cute and just a really cute shirt for the summer and honestly, if I could get more of these shirts that are in this like off the shoulder, can't even talk today, off the shoulder style, then I will because they're so freaking fun and cute and they just make you feel really cute and flirty. I don't know, like I just feel really cute right now wearing it, so yeah. Okay, and now I'm going to share a couple of songs that I have been loving or listening to a lot recently. Some may be old to you, but like... The first is called Paper Cut by Linkin Park. A lot of you may know the band or you may know the song or if you haven't heard the song, look it up. It's really, really good in my opinion. And also rest in peace to Chester Bennington. Like, 
when I found out that he had passed away, I literally was so upset. Like, Linkin Park is my childhood. I literally used to listen to it all the time when they had those little CD players still. Like, I put in the CD, put my headphones on, listened to it, and it was what got me through. So, it's really sad. It's really, really sad what happened. Um, but yeah, this is Paper Cut by Linkin Park. Sadly, I can't play the whole song because of YouTube, so yeah, that was Linkin Park, and again, rest in peace, Chester Bennington. <sighs> that makes me so sad, I can't. Okay, so the next song, y'all have probably heard a thousand times by now on the radio, but it is Halsley, or Halsley, I don't really know how you say her name, I think it's Halsley, Halsey. Sorry, I can't really talk today. <laughs> but I think it's Halsey, um, and it's called Now or Never. I literally have listened to every song that she's put out. Like, they're amazing. So, yeah, this is Now or Never. The next song is by Vertical Horizon and it is called Everything You Want. Literally used to listen to this all the time back in the day and it's always stuck in my head, like always. So yeah. <laughs> James, okay? Um, the first song is Big Amount. Okay, and the next song is also by 2 Chains. It's called Low Baby. I love this song. It's so cute. I don't know. I just like the part where they're like, Low Baby. Okay, but yeah, you'll hear it. that is everything I have been loving this July. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on all of my social media. It'll be somewhere on the screen. And yeah, thank you again for watching. Y'all mean the entire world to me, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, loves!